Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial. I am Arten Vader, a digital artist from Berlin. And if you don't know me, uh, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok. That I regularly post short tutorials and my art. So it would be nice if you want to support me. Let's move on to the tutorial. Today we will create this cool animation. You can use it later on as mock-up for your own art to promote your art on social media. And it has a really cool effect and it's e really easy to create. So let's move on. The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 So let's go. First delete the camera, the cube and the light with the X key. After that you add a plane and this is our poster in the animation. Now we have to decide what size we need. My posters are always 1080 by 1350 pixels. And now we have to convert the size. I choose centimeters. In the internet you can search for a converter. And uh, in Blender we have now to change the unit and this we can do here, units, and we change to centimeters. Under transform and dimension we can now choose our size. Now we switch to the edit mode and choose subdivision. And here in the window we choose 30. Now we have a lot of segments that the plane look at more detailed. Now we switch back to the object mode and we go to the physics tags and we choose cloth. Now when we pl hit play it's animated but it's only fall down. To fix that we go back to the edit mode and we choose all these points here on the side. Now we go back to the object mode and build a vertex group. For this we go here under this icon and we pre press the plus button and now we go back to the edit mode and assign the points to the vertex group. Now the points are fixed in the animation. Now we go back to the object mode and go to the physics properties. Then we go to the tag shape and there we include our new vertex group. To get more details we rotate the whole plane a little bit like this and now when we hit play it looks like this. To get more dynamics we add now a force field and we choose wind. Under radius we take 5 and now we have to bring it to the right position. This look looks good. Now we can uh, change the values here on the side for strength we choose 270,000 and under flow 10. And if we hit play it looks like this. To make everything looks better we have to choose now shade smooth. To solve the interactions within the flag we go to the physics properties under collision. Here we make a check mark under self collisions. And we choose the value 4 for friction and for distance 0 0.145. If we hit play, it looks now like this. If we are satisfied with the result, we go back to the modifier properties and add again a subdivision surface. And this is the result. If you want that it looks a little bit different, you can rotate the plane again or increase uh, the value for the wind or other stuff. Attention, artwork of the week! Naichui did it. He tagged me under his artwork with Ad Art Invader. And now he have the exclusive shout out here. I really love the animation. The colors are really cool and the vibe and especially the color changing. Well done. And yeah, you find the link to Night Shui on uh, social media in the caption. Follow him and give him some love. And let's move on with the tutorial. The materials. The materials. Oh yeah, so let's start now with the cool part. I have already inserted a camera and I adjusted the render region to 1080 by 1080 pixels here under format. So well, let's continue. First we split the view in two. 
For this we go here to the side until a plus appear and we change here the window to shader editor. And in this window we go to viewport shading number four, this icon here. <laughs> All right, first we make the light. For this we go here to world and here we search for environment texture. And under this tag, we can add a HDR, HDRI map. <laughs> yeah, and I choose this one. Now it looks like this. Now we search for mapping at, and ge geometry. And under rotation, we can now adjust the background. That looks good. Now we make the poster. For this, we go back to the object mode and select the plane and hit the plus button here. We set metallic to 0, 0 0.8 and roughness to 0 0.25. Now we search for image texture, mapping and texture coordinate. And now we have to choose here UV. Now we can choose under image texture a poster of our choice. I choose the old design of mine. Ah, yeah, now we also have to connect this with each other. Yeah, and now we have to press play. It looks a bit weird in the beginning, but yeah. So if your poster is not in the right position here on the plane, you can choose uh, the right rotation here under mapping, but now it looks Good, perfect. So now we added the background. For this, we go back to the world mode. And here we search for hue saturation value. And here we increase the hue. So you can see the color is a little bit change, changing. And under saturation, I choose 1.2. Now it looks like this. And I want everything a little bit brighter. So I can here under background, um, increase the brightness and here I choose 2. I think it's still too dark so we can here switch also the rotation so maybe here's a brighter part. Yeah, this looks good. So in the next step we insert a light, a sun and bring it to the right position. So now it looks like this. And finally, we choose the camera and we go here to the render properties. We make a check mark under ambient occlusion. When we use ambient occlusion, it makes shadows on our poster. We also set a check mark at bloom, bloom to emphasize the reflections. And we also set a check mark for screen space reflections to create reflections within the object. Perfect. Now if we render the graphic, it looks like this. So it looks really cool. You want my project file? You can get it. On Patreon, you can find my project with all textures I use. There you can also support me as an artist so I can create more cool stuff for you. And a very big thank you for my Patreons. You are the best. And now we came to... The animation. 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 So now we came to the end part, to the animation. And we only animate in this part the sky in the background. And for this we go here back to the window and choose mapping and choose insert keyframe. You have to look that the animation slider is in the beginning of the window here. Now we go to the end of the animation and change the rotation value. Oh, this was the wrong one. This one maybe by three degrees. Okay, 0 0.4, that would go in this direction. And we set insert keyframe. Now the background is also animated. So in the end, uh, Blender automatically creates an animation which is slower at the beginning and at the end faster. So we want that the animation is linear. And for this, we go here to this icon, go to graph editor, choose here the mapping. And now we 
see here the curve. We have to select all points, then we go to key, interpolation mode and choose linear. Now we go back here to the timeline and, and if we hit play, the background is also animated. Okay, it's really slow, but now you can see, yeah, it's animated. <laughs> Perfect, the animation is ready and yeah. Follow me so you don't miss another video from me. A new Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to tag me at Art Invader under your renders. I want to see what cool things you've created. See you in the next week.